Welcome to Babushka Land. This is going to be the first video of a three-part tutorial series for how to build Silent Whisper's iron farm in survival mode, all done on survival mode. In order to build an iron farm, you will need villagers, which means you will need a village breeder. And you will need to locate villagers, well, locate a village, and figure out how to transport them to where you want to build your iron farm. So first you're gonna to have to figure out where you want to build your iron farm. Um, for me, I'm looking for a flat area with some, like a little bit of extra land around it because I'm hoping to build an iron, mm, I'm hoping to build some sort of fortress around it. We'll see how that goes later on. As you can see here, I have located a relatively flat area where I'm going to build my farm. Now, now I need to find some villagers. So what you're gonna do is go to your settings, find your seed, and go to this website called Chunkbase. Um, once you're there, copy and paste your seed into the box, and uh, make sure you know your coordinates. Then find where you are, or find your spawn point. I'm using my spawn point here as a reference. And also I've got my coordinates in my head there. So <clears throat> then you're going to locate the nearest village, um, preferably one that is coastal. So if you can go by water, it's going to be a lot easier to, easier to transport your villagers since you can just take them through the ocean instead of building like a giant railway or having to build a giant river or go through the nether. All of those sound like too much of a pain in the ass. So you're gonna find your village, locate it. There we are at the village here. As you can see, just looking around, uh, what you wanna do here is find the uh, part of the village that's closest to the water. Uh, this one is relatively close, so I'm not building a canal system. Although if you look through the videos uh, that I have uploaded in my playthrough, you can see I actually built a giant canal system before figuring out the water was right beside the village. Duh. Anyway, find your villager, pop a boat down, jump in the boat. Okay, since everything is downhill here, that's, that's really important because you can't go uphill in these boats. They don't really travel so well in land. Now you're gonna make your way to the water. As you can see, it's a little bit slow, but eventually you'll make it there, you know, eventually. Oh, oh, almost there. Oh, I gotta check my inventory. Oh yeah, oh yeah, see, there's a villager in the boat. But yeah, anyway. There we go. Now I am sailing. So you're gonna sail across the ocean and eventually you will make it back to your base. I recommend bringing some food and a spare bed in case it turns dark and you have to stop and sleep or you see something you need. Once you're at a, well, nearby your location, which I am kind of nearby here, I'm building a temporary storage facility for my villager. Uh, in this case, I hadn't set up my village breeder quite yet. So I just dug into the side of a cliff here. You know, dug under a little bit so you could get some water flow going. And uh, making enough space to really like fit a couple villagers in there and make it nice and comfortable for him. Okay, there we go. Oh, that's a that's a shovel. There we go. Use that pickaxe. Okay, voila. Now the villager is inside of my little storage container for him. Just gonna uh, pop some torches on the sides here so no zombies spawn inside. And then I'm going to seal him up and move on if I ever get out of there.
Ooh, yikes, that current's bad. Okay, there we go. See that? There was a little evil uh, water zombie thing there trying to get me. Now, once you've actually built your village breeder, which is essentially a box uh, with some uh, uh, workstations for the villagers, you can hollow out a little area, put some water in, so that you can access it by boat. Oh, grab some more water there. And look at that, we've got, we've got a perfect hole that is two by two, <laughs> so that you can fit the villager in there. And the boat, the boat too. Make your way back to the village storage unit. Open the wall up. Try and create a pathway for the water. If it gets stuck, like you can see here, grab a bucket and move some water further into the opening. Once the water flows into the cave, hop onto a boat. And there you go, you can sail. Take a villager, and take him all the way to your village breeder. Deposit the first one and go back and get the second one. Yep, grab that second villager, take him all the way back, hopefully before nightfall so you don't have to end up with a zombie villager. Once your villagers are both inside the village breeder, all you have to do is get some blocks, close it up, and you are ready for village breeding.